Good day, marvelous Cash Tokens community. How you guys doing? So um, I want to talk about uh, the importance of attracting newbie builders, right? And that's why I'm doing uh, this uh, tutorial series. Of course, also thank you so much to uh, the people who have been uh, who have funded the Flipstarter, uh, so I could do this tutorial series, um, which includes Toric some nobody, William Patrick, uh, and a couple of anonymous people. Um, so, yeah, we have to attract newbie builders, in my opinion, because so many other coins have large funds, right? Well, we're in a bear market, so they're a little smaller now. <laughs> but uh, they have those large funds. And so, you know, somebody learns um, what's called Solidity or Rust and, you know, they're, they can command uh, significant market interest in their services. Whereas learning cash tokens may people, you know, people may question, right? Because it's, it only works on BCH. Of course, we have things like Cash Script and LibAuth and... Uh, Bitcash for Python, right? So we have libraries for JavaScript and Python, and I believe I saw someone making one for Rust as well. They make it really easy uh, to uh, build stuff uh, with cash tokens uh, in your in your favorite language. I mean, JavaScript is JavaScript and Python are probably the two most popular languages around. Um, but like, I also think we can't just we can't just aim at people who are already are experts, right? I think we, we, we also have to, you know, put a, a little hook out there uh, and a helping hand for people who are new, passionate, right? Passionate, but, but new, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe they even feel like, you know, coding is, is just not in their wheelhouse, right? And the fact is that anybody can code, anybody can build with cash tokens. Um, and my tutorial series aims to, to help everyone from the newbie uh, on up. You know, of course, true experts are going to uh, be like, wow, I know all this stuff already, right? Or they may, might find my tutorials a little verbose, you know, because it goes into to the basics. But uh, I am trying to focus on, uh, you know, covering the basics so that uh, newbie builders will feel comfortable. Right. And I also have a telegram group that you can find in my tutorials where you can get support, you know, with your questions. Um, I'll answer you. Right. So and, if, and there are also many other groups where people are getting support. So this is very doable for newbie builders. And I think we have to be welcoming uh, to them. I, I want to be personally very welcoming to anyone who's trying to learn uh, how to build with uh, cash tokens. And, um, you know, for the more experienced uh, coders and whatnot, I think the important thing for you to consider is that, you know, if you're looking to build on, for example, Ethereum, uh, you know, at some point the fees and or the complexity are going to make it impossible for you to scale your business. Uh, I've, I've watched quite a few, um, you know, projects that are building on Ethereum. And uh, they're always giving away uh, a lot of ETH to pay all the fees that it takes for them to get uh, customers. You know, like that, that can get expensive really quick. And for what? Just to pay the miners? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, my, of course, blockchain security is important, but this is a little bit excessive. Um, let's see. And, uh, you know, Cosmos is interesting. Cosmos, Solana, right? Um, I don't know. I don't really have a particular criticism other than the complexity, I guess, because people are always bridging things, right? Uh, I've worked, I've done some stuff on some uh, blockchains in Cosmos, Cosmos, and I'm always having to, you know, move Adam to their chain and move it back, and I got to use a bridge, and I'm paying these fees, and are your customers gonna really adopt that level of complexity? I'm not sure. That's one of the benefits of using the original uh, Bitcoin blockchain 
a UTXO chain is that things are pretty simple, right? There's no bridging involved. There's no, you don't need to use L2s if you don't want to because the L1, the main net blockchain is committed to scale. The people who maintain it are committed to scaling it. Um, and the fees are very low, as you can see at bitcoinfees.cash, um, like subcent, right? Because also nobody wants to be paying these crazy fees, right? Because most of humanity just can't afford it. Um, you know, it doesn't make sense to build an app and only have 20 customers, right, who are the rich and powerful, right? That's, I don't know, maybe for some people. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say today about the importance of attracting and supporting uh, newbie builders uh, for BCH Cash tokens. Let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.